For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So, yes, it is uh, true that there are reports beginning to emerge of real-life protective abilities of a range of current vaccines, uh, Russian vaccines being the most recent, but Chinese vaccines, uh, European and American uh, vaccines, etc. Here is what we know from all of these. But before I talk about that, we must keep in mind that none of these vaccines and none of the um, uh, methods used for um, measuring their effectiveness are comparable with each other. So um, the various percentages that we are seeing are still um, not really properly comparable with each other. That said, the broad lesson still remains the following. All the vaccines which are based on last year's strains still provide excellent protection against serious illness and hospital and death for COVID-19. I'm not going to say hospitalization because uh, again, the, the uh, criteria for hospitalization vary, but certainly all the vaccines based on last year's strains protect against serious illness and death even by this year's Delta-like strains. What we, so that's promising. What we also know is that the protection against mild illness, infection and transmission provided by the vaccines appears to be lower for this year's Delta-based strains compared to that against last year's strains. So that's the core of the vaccine-related current status based on evidence. Let's keep in mind that protection against transmission is a um, quantitative idea. It's not a yes, no idea. So vaccines brought down the transmission efficiency of last year's strains quite a lot. Vaccines have brought down the transmission efficiency of this year's Delta-based strains, but not by as much as last year's strains. So that's the first thing, which means that Delta will spread more slowly amongst vaccinated people than amongst unvaccinated people, but it will st still spread at a reasonably fast rate. That's the first point. The second point is because the increased efficiency of transmission of Delta from person to person is higher, based on the fact that the virus can get into cells more efficiently, we can imagine that just as it's easier for the Delta strains to be more transmissible from person to person, they're also more transmissible from cell to cell within the same person. And if that happens, then the likelihood is that the uh, ability of Delta-based strains to cause severe disease is going to be a little bit higher. And that's what everybody is finding. But it's not that therefore Delta is a lethal virus. It's not. It's just that instead of say 10% people becoming severely ill, 15, 17% people become severely ill. So that's the second point. And that's where Delta is causing increases, but not huge ones in both rates of transmission and, and, and likelihood of causing severe disease. So, 
So there have been papers and uh, there is some discussion about possible changes in the future in the Delta variant that might make it even less well protected against by current vaccines. Have Delta strains reached that point? There is no uh, evidence as yet that they've reached that point. Is it even likely, even after they reach that point, that there will be no protection at all by current vaccines? There is no good evidence suggesting that either. So for the near future, our current vaccines are likely to provide quite respectable protection against serious illness and death, even against Delta and Delta-based variants. However, over the intermediate future, months and into next year, is it likely that Delta-based new variants that are less and less well protected against by current vaccines will emerge? Yes. And therefore, is it likely that we will need next generation vaccines as our optimal response? Yes. Next generation vaccines based on all the current vaccines that are working on the Delta backbone are already in the making. The limitation that all of us should keep in mind that this is not simply a matter of making the vaccine and putting out putting it out into into usage it, these vaccines will still need to be tested to see whether they do protect much better against the delta variant and that's going to cause a lag period and it's going to make us play catch up a little bit but are there going to be next generation vaccines going forward in our long and intricate establishment of a working relationship with the virus and its and its variants yes